Hello everybody, just in time for the start of this game. It is Misspelled Tree versus Andy Devo, and it looks like Tree has started on defense. Andy is on offense. And uh, yeah, they just they just started this at the last minute, funnily enough, the last minute T being the team name of Misspelled Tree's team. And uh, just in time to catch the start of this match. Pitch Invasion knocks down a wolf and a lineman. But Andy gets the touchback, so that saves him from absolute disaster. Flip me. So this is the final week. Um, if you bear with me, I shall put the, the table on. There we go. So if it's the final match, actually, of Group A, We've got, if Andy draws, he's second. If he wins, he's first. And if Tree wins, then Sol is second because Sol wins the three-way tie. So Tree is just playing spoiler here. Um, interestingly. So there you go. Okay, well, he got really lucky with the touchback there, didn't he? Like, obviously, he got unlucky with getting two guys stunned. That means that means he's trapped on the tree instead of smashing it. Um, but imagine if he hadn't got the ball as well. He would have been absolutely screwed. So it's not really lucky that, he'd evolved, that he avoided disaster. He was obviously unlucky to nearly be in complete disaster, but... Thanks to that, was not completely screwed. Blockless block is a 3D though. Right. But yeah. Things on so you can see. The catches are the horny ones. There, there, and there. And then we've got a couple of wrestle, a couple of dodge, strip, and a frenzy dancer. That's Tree's variant. And Andy's gone for the absolutely standard four guards, three blocks, and swap a zombie for a ghoul. I like that. Swap the skill zombie for a ghoul. So there you go. Oof. Just about got this in time. It's interesting this matchup because I always quite well I always heard that Skaven players hated Necro and then so by you know I associated that with well then if Skaven hate Necro then Wood Elves won't like them either and then uh, Andy was doing his Euro Bowl video and he's like oh it's a terrible 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 matchup for a uh, for Necro. It surprised me, to be honest. This is the you know, same thing, right? If you're good against Woodies, good against Skaven, should be good against Woodies. Oh, hello, Dimmy. Oh, one second. I've got the wrong... the wrong trousers. Okay, hello. 
Hallo. 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 Can you share your game? Yeah, that's a good idea, isn't it? Yeah, sorry, I've uh, I was streaming art, you see. Not Artemis, actual if art. If that's what you call it, Jimmy. Well, hey, well, banter. Hey. Wow, you horrible git. <laughs> uh, but it was quite good because I was doing that and then listening to the OWOB podcast. It was somewhat interesting, you know, the Toxic Elite. Yeah, I, I enjoyed that one. That was the one you asked me if I enjoyed, and I said yes, and you went, oh, I probably won't like it then. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no one. <laughs> it's true. It's true, it's true. You said something and uh, you were like, I thought it was interesting or something. And I was like, oh, I don't know. Or like you thought it was entertaining. I was like, I don't think anything's entertaining. <laughs> Probably won't like it then. <laughs> I don't, can't remember what it was. <laughs> something like that. He's, yeah. uh, Wolf's got to be dodging here. Yes, yeah. Early. He, he got he got he got a bit unlucky, Andy, with a two-man pitch inversion as he as he had committed to the tree. Um, and now the com now the tree is rooted and he's got his players away. So, oh, the tree is rooted. I was going to say I wasn't sure why he was pre yeah. the tree, but the tree is rooted. So, yeah. yeah, basing two squares away wouldn't be great if it wasn't <laughs> rooted, would it? <laughs> You'd mm. absolutely be blitzing there and uh, feeling good. But yeah, so instant yeah, disaster. Good. Instant disaster from tree. I hate putting the tree over that side, right? Because it just makes it really easy for Andy to just like go down, you know, like this That's, line. Yeah. Because at least if it's in the middle, you've got to like you've got to then go pretty it hard to the sideline. But now because it's so yeah. far away, you, you've got quite a lot of wiggle room to get down the field. Dimmy yeah. seems quiet. Oh, Dimmy, could you speak into your microphone, please? No. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I see why she's done it. She's obviously done it to set, offset the LOS to try and make the make most of a blitz, I guess. Yeah, but I, I hate it with a tree, honestly. I think the tree needs yeah. to be in the centre. I just think it has to be on, on I defense. I now it's rooted, yeah. It's kind of <clears throat> in a unfortunate spot. Mm. What do you mean it's unfortunate that Elliot isn't here? I am here. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favourite thing in the world, you know. In the world. In the world, yeah. Oh, exactly. There's honestly the frenzy makes it more, even more important to have the tree in the middle, right? Even more important to have the tree in the middle with 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 frenzy, because Does it? it makes go yeah, because it makes go on the side even worse. Mm. You know, because like Andy doesn't have to go to the side now, right? He can go as I say, he can go on this this line. It's got four squares either side, whereas if it's in the middle, then you've got to like you've got to go one over, and you've got three on both sides. So you're just so much more compressed. Um, if the tree is in the middle, we're we doing a two into one blitz on the bottom. Classic. Doesn't matter. It. Pretty nice. No armor break. Diced. Never look at. Yeah, this is quite good though, because you can like shut down the left side so much to force Andy back into the tree. Yes, yeah, it's good that you don't need a whole lot next to the tree, so you do. But again, it's still like it, you know, I mean, that would still be the same, but two squares over, right? Yeah. I hate not having the tree in the middle. <laughs> on defense, on defense. On offense, it's okay. On offense, you know, you might it might be better on one side on offense. But yeah, I kind of hate it on defense. Ooh. That's just my opinion. Doesn't mean it's correct, does it? But that's what I think. Don't like it. <clears throat> Five plus jump over surf. Let's go. Oh my goodness, that would be incredible. Yeah, exactly. You want you want, you want to like force them to deal with it or go you know go away from it. So if you put it on one side, it's that much easier. It's just instantly easier to get away from it, isn't it? Naturally, without even thinking about it. But yeah, still pretty good. And he just pausing because he can't believe he's hit a player that's not died. I know, right? He's like, wait, what happened? What's what's this player face up for? What? What's going yeah. on? I've <laughs> game is bugged. <laughs> I mean, I'm used to, I'm used to constantly breaking AV ten plus. So why isn't this? What's what's gone wrong here? <laughs> 
Only joking, of course. <laughs> Unlike me, of course, who couldn't break any uh, any undead AV to save my life. But, you know, I'm not bitter. Oh, just, just joking, yeah. <laughs> it was just all the powers as well, wasn't it? It probably wasn't even that many blocks. It was just every single block was a pow. Uh, Dimmy wants... It, this doesn't matter to Dimmy. Um, yeah. Dimmy is definitely... Uh, well, to be fair, if, if Andy... Pr uh, blah, 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 Dimmy might want... Andy to draw or lose because then Dimmy will top the group. Oh, but okay. It for winning, who comes first and second in the other group, really. <laughs> yeah. For for qualifying, for qualifying, it doesn't matter to Dimmy, but for seeding, he might want. It matters to Sol, doesn't it? Yes, it matters. It matters to Sol and Andy. If Tree wins, Sol's through. Yes. And if draw if Andy draws or wins, Andy's through. What about so, in terms of who you like better, Dimmy? Oh, you're not allowed to ask me that. <laughs> <laughs> not but allowed to ask him that. I I would like three to win. Because then the only person that I've lost to wouldn't be in the finals, right? So ah. that, that kind of makes sense, right? Okay. There you go, you heard it here first, everybody. <laughs> Dimmy G absolutely despises Andy Dipple. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, for my chances of winning the overall, <laughs> I think a tree win here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dimmy, I had to. What you could do here is you could, you could, you could, um, ah, you can't actually because of the guard. But you could like you could hit the wolf and then blitz the wolf into the uh, into the tree, right? But that doesn't really work. You could um, you could maybe chain some chain the ghoul. No. There is. Uh, yeah, you could. You could uphill double power the fleshy. <laughs> That's what you could do. <laughs> Didn't get that. Dead. No, Not my goodness. Now. Probably just got to eat this one. Yeah. Ooh. As horrible as it is. Oh, it's a surf frenzy dancer, no? Yeah, probably, yeah. Probably. So, yeah, maybe you, could, maybe you shouldn't have eaten that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe you shouldn't have eaten that because it's I a think, surf frenzy dancer. I think turn four... Is enough time to surf this and not be too bothered. The problem is, like, it's a really good opportunity to get forward as well. So. Yeah. Now there you go, double pals. Oh, <laughs> Dave or dice. Problem solved. <laughs> the harder one is to surf this one, right? That's that's further back. Like that was a bit more costly to surf that one. Whereas surfing the dancer, at least like you know, you're surfing a dancer. But going backwards to surf this guy isn't worth it, I don't think. But now, now you just push forward, probably get quite far forward here. I would imagine we are going to see some penetration. Penetration. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> like, you know, serving a Frenzy Dancer is really good, but it's so many more pushes to, to get him that it's... I don't think it's worth really It's not the one that you, you're really worried about, though. No, true. True. It's the stripper. The stripper is a lot scarier, yeah. So... Okay, the dancer's on his feet there. Yeah. yeah. It's because it looks like the strip ball is on the guy lying down on the floor behind him, but it's not. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty weird, isn't it? Yeah. And the dodge one is the one lying down behind him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In the time bank here. Yeah, really considering this one. I think he wants to hit the Frenzy Dancer. Oh, that's wow. The strip, sorry, the Strip Ball Dancer. I guess that's what he's doing, yeah. Yeah. 
A blockless block. And then the problem is, is that frenzy dancer hasn't been armor broken. Yeah. yeah you were right, Lord Dimmy. He does want to do this. This is a bit rowdy. Boy, howdy. Very rowdy. It doesn't get the knockdown. Doesn't want to try and dodge away because it's he's got to move the ghoul in to secure that cage corner yet because the side stepper can hold the other one. But the side stepper can't necessarily hold the other one, so you can still have a go at uh, dislodging this wraith. Mm. Very slow turn for Mandy. <clears throat> Lots of fault. Yeah. Lots of fault. I mean, I would just go straight in for the one D. He can two D. He can two D the wraith. Uh, not easily. Uh, I, I mean, mean, you have to like do a one in nine, but yeah, it could do. Could do an instant one in nine. I mean, there is a catcher here, isn't there? But then, oh, yeah, there's this one as well. So this one could go like there and in, and then the lineman in there. And then the catcher in there to cancel 2D him. But then. 1D frenzy. And then 1D frenzy. Or you can run around with a leap. Yeah. Well, if you pow, if you pow, then you're the assistant, it's 2D. In it. In it? In it, bruv. Just pow him. Well, okay. Sad. Just pow the goal. Let's give this goal. Ooh. Uh, We're just gonna go for the, uh, you know, make Andy surf everybody, and then hope he forgets to score. <laughs> Goddamn goals! Hello, kind sir. I don't know why you'd say no, Elliot. Of course, there's an Elliot. I am here. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Well, here we go. Full, full, do lacking it. Yeah. Don't hate it. Oh, I like keeping hold of a wolf, though. Mm. Well, you're not really, because the zombies can clear it. Well, yeah, yeah, I guess yeah, one of them could, yeah. All the Ooh. dice? What? Funny enough, that I think the wrestler was probably better like there, right, to tag out that zombie because then it's not easy to get the assist on him. So I think this would have been really nice. The, the wrestler there, and then obviously the catcher's not good because the catcher just gets too deep. But the uh, they could have probably both gone on that zombie. Actually, that would have been pretty nice. Both both yeah. players on the zombie <clears throat> are liked. Like everything's just getting smashed. Through. Yeah, you, if you're basing with like these four, base with the rest as well, right? So it yeah. seems weird to not base that on the zombie. Yeah, obviously, he's going to surf. He was never not surfing, was he? <laughs> Oh, with the ball carrier. Even I would have probably served this one. That's a risky one with the ball carrier. Nah, it's not that risky, is it? Nah. I was doing it with the wall. It's just green. Oh! Ooh. Hey! The plim plum push. No, oh, I don't scared. like going for the extra hit. Is this going to hit it with the wall? I really don't like going for the extra hit. Full pow. <laughs> well, now there's not a surf, is there? Oh, no, there, yeah, there is, yeah, blitz and then run back. If he gets a pow here. Yeah. Yeah, so now he just gets to blitz and run back. <laughs> <coughs> Reroll burn though. No, oh, brilliant. <laughs> Reroll burn. 
Love a reroll burn for getting my position demolished in the player sir. Classic, classic uh, Rick, isn't it? Reroll burn. <laughs> You've had not even half your team. That elf is absolutely fine, Jimmy. <laughs> yep. Uh, the... Classic Rick moment. That's bad. Tree is completely out of the game, like the the tree, not misspelled. The tree oh, is yeah, completely out that. of the you game. You have to now. do that dodge, otherwise, we could have trained the dancer onto that zombie and then got him, got herself uh, one D in the ball. Yeah, probably still worth the uphill now, right? It's getting desperate enough. Well, maybe not. This looks pretty desperate to me. Maybe not. Oh! I'll oh, surf the dancer. Yeah, surf the surf the wolf. Shit! Oh, amazing! Go on, out you go. Yeah, there's a counter serve. That was weird, wasn't it? Oh, if this one dies as well, it's going to be hilarious. That was weird, wasn't it? Okay. Nothing. Okay. You'll do nothing. The wolf can get tagged down now, by the way. Just, just quietly. Yeah. Might get, might be able to get enough in the way to to stop this, because this one can get back in the way a little bit. Can't we? If you oh, I guess you can just stand in front. Imagine not realizing Tree as a frenzy dancer. I would never. <laughs> oh, dear. oh, needs to cover the side door. The side switch is really, really, really. Uh, this this dancer probably had to be like up one. Um, they could get one in to stop the runner, have the three plus out. The go, but this is just too weak over here now. I guess I have to have to dodge this line all around and not tag out the wolf. Now I have to probably not tag out the wolf and have it like there to try and keep the switch to the middle half. Because now we're definitely going through this catcher. I would say. Uh, the fucking. the whole team. See, bros? The full team? Why not? They can get there. <laughs> okay, this is weird. I don't understand this at all. Getting the wolf for turn seven. I don't know, Probably I like. on turn six. Yeah. Ooh. The problem now is though now will tree re tree re will reinforce the side switch. So. Oh pal! Mm. What a Dyson. Interesting. Watch the goal. Yeah, I can just leave it down. Right? It's still a threat next turn, isn't it? And seeing as Tree committed it's, like... It's in range as well and it's probably not getting fouled. Yeah, yeah. Tree committed three players to stopping it moving, so... You probably want to pin those three players in place for free, don't you? So. Yep. I guess you can move, shuffle them over around a little bit or something, I don't know. I guess this one goes back, he goes there. And then this one comes over and this one goes there. It's not great, is it? But... I wouldn't even blitz here, there's nobody to really blitz, is there? Uh, you can blitz the crappy zombie on the right hand side. Uh, just wouldn't bother. Just blitz it with the wrestler, or the stripper in the back. I would bother. I think blitzing is good, Jim. I, I don't. 
Honestly, I just wouldn't bother. With it. Like, you've got to put in a plate to assist. If you put it in there, then if you only push, it's still in. Oh no, okay, there's a. No, you put there. the dodger in there. You put the dodger up. No, and I just didn't. I thought the wraith's in the wrong square, so I thought you'd have had to keep it in contact. So with, with, now that I know that the wraith is in, you know that you could push that square. It's a lot better. It's in, uh, nice. See. Yeah, hey oh for the blitz, Jim. You wouldn't have had that. No, I uh, well. I might have done if you I was tree that. because you if I was tree, I would have seen the squ I would have seen the I would have seen the squat the the the. You wouldn't have had that square. KO, Jimmy. I would have seen the blank square if I was playing myself, Jimmy. But I thought the wraith was in that. I fucking hate the wraiths, honestly. Like, they, although they look cool, they're just like, it's I, I probably get confused. Even though I've got the circles on right now, I just can't confuse which fucking square they're in. Very annoying. Jimmy KO looks fantastic. Yeah, I would have already lost 3 0 by now, so it's alright. Blitz the dancer, pow it. GG. Yeah, there's a. Uh... Uh -huh. Problem is, you can't bring any of the guards. Like, Andy can't bring any of his guards with him. No, not unless he dodges them. And it's them and awkward stuff. to do the blitz on the frenzy dancer. That's not two into one. Well, you could just blitz it with a fleshy, right? Hmm. But then the frenzy is really nice because you push it an extra square. So it's really nice, but how do you even do it? Is the is the problem, isn't it? Yeah, this is good. This is good. I mean, you can say it was bad by Andy to have the wraiths at the back, right? Like, um. Reach should have probably been at the front and like harder to tag off, but it was good by treat to tag them off. Yes, this is I the like way to deal with rates. them, isn't it? I like tagging rates. Yeah. Yeah, it was really. I hated. I hated Andy's last turn to just to blitzing back to fruit the wolf. I hated that. I would have taken the space forward. It like he could have taken a lot of space forward, and I found it weird that he didn't. He's gonna have to do. He's gonna have to do a two into one here. I think we put the zombie in. We blitz with the wall. Oh, we have to like. We have to hit the. You rest can block. You can block with the fleshy yeah. first. Then you can do two into two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he, oh, what use the zombie at the back? But then he needs to. No, clear. use this zombie. Use this zombie. This zombie can go one forward. Or oh, the zombie at the back. Yeah, the yeah, zombie at yeah, the back yeah. anyway. And then blitz and then in the wrong way. Push, push. You can't use the zombie at the back because the dodge is there, so that's a dodge. Oh, the dodge is there. Oh, no, you yeah, can't. Yes, you've got to use one at the front. Yeah. 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 And so one, just... two, three. The, the only thing that's annoying is if you don't get the pow, you probably want to dodge the wall afterwards. Oh, oh. shit. Okay, assist with the, with the goo. The gow. The gow, yeah. Interesting. So another push here is. Eight. Gets the full power and the AV break, of course. No! Outrageous. So he's got the golem on the corner for guard on both corners. I guess you stand the ghoul to get punched by the um, dancer. Yeah. Does Andy just need a draw to qualify? <coughs> I mean, yeah. To be fair, if this, uh, you know, this this fleshy gets one D powered, then uh... wait. It, this is a catcher. Okay, so it's not. It's unlikely to get one D powered. <laughs> and he's made the first dodge. Man, ghoul should be at G four plus. <laughs> Ghouls. Whites, whatever they're called, wraiths. Wraiths. <laughs> Not ghouls. Ghouls should be actually 2 plus. Feels the second dodge. Gets stunned. Not that it matters much. No. But. We can, uh, we can knock the wraith, the ghoul, back one square, right? By blitzing. Oh no, sorry. Yeah, no, yeah, it could blitz. The zombie into the wolf, into the into the ghoul. 
Uh, Got a frenzy dancer as well. Oh no, but then the frenzy is needed for the wolf. Otherwise, could have frenzied it twice, <laughs> and then got the ghoul up to there. Maybe I'm not sure. Could block this uphill, but I then might, still yeah, I, I, I might even one D the golem. You can't and, uh, really one D the golem. You can stand up the wrestle, put the dodger in. Is that not? No. Oh, because the guard. Uh. Yeah, the guard there. Oh, I rebel. The ra don't push into the wraith. You blitz the you blitz the zombie, Alma. Uh, you fill these two squares. Blitz the zombie. Push it into the wolf. Push it into the ghoul. Push the ghoul back. But yeah, I mean, it's looking like columns. <laughs> but you can only push the ghoul back one anyway, right? Like that's the problem. You can only push it back one and it's still being range. Columns is shit though, isn't it? Columns generally isn't good enough. I mean, it might be good enough, but it's just, it needs to be one across to stop the jump. One back. One back to stop the jump. Yeah, yeah, the columns need to be once separated by one nowadays, don't they? They've got to be one, then nothing, then a one there. Yeah, columns are worse than they used to be. But, you know, still can do them. It's not terrible, is it? So I'm going to double GFI this one. Or is this, can this one dodge all the way around? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, yeah, dodge this one around in GFI. It's just double GFI for that health. Yeah. One at a time with two rerolls, imagining that you're not going to do them both. <laughs> this one doesn't even do anything, does it? You're probably just better uh, better off not even standing this up. Maybe the wolf can go there. Maybe you do, just because the, there's maybe like a handoff to the wolf and then like friends himself through. So maybe you probably do want to put this like here or somewhere. A scoring threat! Course, yeah. Oh my god. Did didn't stack them there. <laughs> Did stack them here. I mean I guess you've just got to do it because it gets it in scoring range, doesn't it? Like this you don't have a turn eight. So yeah, you have to re-roll it. And double wand. <laughs> but it was funny to, to stack it there, but I mean this this was absolutely correct to stack them both times, right? Because if you fail, you don't have a turn eight, right? Like if you succeed or fail, you don't have it. Well, you've, if you succeed both GFIs, you have a chance to score on turn eight. Otherwise, you basically don't have a turn eight because you're not going to get the one turn. And uh, so m maybe like blitzing this dancer is the way to do it, right? With a wolf, maybe hand off to the wolf and then blitz his way through. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, seven, eight. Yeah, tagging wolf would have been nice. Yeah, yeah, that's what I. Would, yeah, tag, tag the wolf or stand over here. But yeah, tagging the wolf was probably the best. Yeah, yeah, almost certainly the best was tagging the wolf. But the scoring threats like fair enough, right? Let's you get in one mill up maybe. It was very unlucky to waste two re rolls and still fall over. Oh yeah, do, do not even need a handoff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, no. Yeah, yeah, I I, I I prefer the tagging the wolf. Definitely. That's not to say I would have done it. <laughs> I might have just put somebody here or something. Um, 
All oh, right, the three. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, G, five, G, five, yeah. Yeah, okay, that's better than trying to blitz his way through, yeah. Yeah, so, I, you know, I, I would have probably put, like, that player in one of these four squares. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Got to wipe all that. That probably, yeah, I think I do, yeah. It's a dancer, there's not a choice, right? Sucks that it's 37 and a half. Don't take the dead. Don't take the dead. <sighs> no, he took the dead, gave him a zombie. Don't. Don't. Oh yeah. my god. So I would have gone there or there, which would have been about the same as tagging that wolf, I guess. Honestly. What's this? <laughs> oh. Easy. Never in doubt. Ooh. Well, there you go. Canoring threat. Costs tree. It was fair enough. Like, it was fair enough. Because if it failed. But then, was it? Because it was just a 3-3-2-2. Three, three, two, two, essentially. Which is yeah. very easy, and isn't it? It as well, though. That's the yeah. Thing, isn't it? yeah, whereas screening it would have protected your dancer as well. <laughs> so, yeah, that was very greedy. Hoping they fail a 3 3 2 2 is very, it was incredibly greedy to get the scoring through. Incredibly greedy. But, um, you know, it, it probably gives you the highest equity for winning the game, right? Like, that's the funny thing because what's the one reroll, wasn't it? Let me uh, let me samba this. So I needed a three three two two, and also a two D for a push. Didn't I? So he was fifty seven percent to score, which isn't that high actually, is it? Fifty eight. So having a scoring threat, forty two percent of the time, you know, might be worth. Increasing the odds from like whatever it w else it would have been, right? Like, which would have been, uh, let's say for argument's sake, a 2D needing a push into what would it have been? 4 4 3 2 odd with dodge, though, isn't it? So you'd have still been 44, right? You'd have still been 44, even if you tag the wolf or whatever. So having that, you know, the 42% of the time when he fails to score, you, you've got a chance of a counter score and maybe a good chance of a counter score. Interesting, isn't it? So seeing it's greedy, it might not even be greedy. It might just be unequivocally correct. There you go. Increased odds against the score, yeah. But it's interesting, right? Because if you just say he scores 47%, what oh, was that? I've got them here. <laughs> he scores 44, and you score 0. Right? So you're 56 for a draw, 44 for a lose, and 0 for a win. Whereas the other way, you're like 58 for a lose, but close to 42 for a win. <laughs> right? So, like, maybe not close to 42, because it depends, because you could probably put somebody back and stuff. Like, probably, he'd probably run the wolf back in that case, wouldn't he, and tag it, maybe. Um, you've got two rerolls. It's like, obviously, he was super unlucky to fail both GFIs. So you've got a good chance of having two rerolls for the counter score. 
and you will be in range because he's not going to blitz that, he's going to blitz through to try to score. So you'll definitely have a standing out. Probably just in one tackle zone. So, if, let's say you're 50 50 to score. Um, that means 21% of the time you're 1 0 up. Like, that's interesting, isn't it? It's interesting. It's, it's probably significant enough chance. Very super interesting. That might have just been the absolute correct thing to do to get this to get the score through. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm thinking it probably is. <laughs> is what I'm thinking. Because scoring on your opponent's drive is really good. How would Andy score so easily with a tag? Because he just two D something and then four four three two. Cool, right? That's that's forty four percent. Columns is shit. Just quietly. Yeah, maybe Tree should have leapt in for the uh, uphill strip. Uphill strip's probably a lot better than hoping your opponent just fails, right? If you've got players around that can do something about it. It's looking very good for Andy now, isn't it? Because Tree not might, e might not even try to win here. I just try to get the draw as a kind of sensible thing to do when you one nil down. I haven't got any penetration. And interestingly, a draw will mean Dimmy G will be the champ. Champ, champ, champ of Group A. Uh. I think the draw is looking unlikely at the moment. Unlikely? Yep. I mean, yeah, I mean, I think it's more likely Andy wins, but... <laughs> um, you know, there's a chance of a draw, isn't there? Telling me there's a chance? Are you telling me there's a chance? No. Oh. Are you telling me there's a chance, Elyon? I am here. <laughs> it's a stunt. <laughs> I mean, this isn't this isn't a Daco, which makes me think that maybe she's going to go for a win. Yeah, makes sense. Went for a win versus Sol, so yeah. Oh well, she had to, didn't she? Uh, no. No. No, probably not. Draw's pretty good, you know. No one's had one yet. This is the last <laughs> chance of a draw in this group. Yeah. I'll be devastated if it's a draw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think no draws has ever happened before in Super League. Super League? Super League, man, my iPad. Because it's Stotty Kirk, man. Yeah, this is rough. Oh, give it to the dancer, Potato. Can we get out of range? Not of the wall. We have to one no. day the wolf. That's the problem, isn't it? With the problem is against wolves, you just can't fucking outrun them. I mean, it's not that hard, is it? You just hand off to the dark. It's just you have to one day the wolf, and you have to power. It's not that hard at all. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like a three. Well, one in three, isn't it? No, definitely. Just gonna chill. 
Powell's the wolf. That's a bad one, fail. Bad decision there by a tree to roll a one. What you should do in that situation is simply not roll a one. Just a little tip there for you. Got a half dacker. <laughs> Let's go. It's, uh, yep. Did you say the other day that Andy doesn't like the Necro into Woodies? Yeah, yeah. When did he say that? After Eurobowl? No, before Eurobowl. He had like a little video, you know, talking about the Eurobowl rosters. Uh... And, uh, and he just kept saying what a bad matchup it was. And I was like, why? <laughs> why? Why is it bad? I guess it's because the strip, right? Scared of the strip. But you've got four guards, so you can put guard in the cage corners and... I don't know. Like, I like that you stop the one turn dead, don't you, with the stand firm and the side steppers. Wool stop potatoes. Yeah, Seems that's pretty amazing. decent to me. Have you got, like, I guess you don't have any racial win rate stats in BBSL? No. Plus, I mean, BBSL's just a super small sample size, isn't it? Wouldn't. I mean, there's, there's some Euroball stats, but again, even the Euroball stats are, like, really small, ultimately. The only things that kind of mattered were the, the nine good teams. Sorry, sorry to write off the knob stats, Dimmy, but it's true. You can't read anything into how well, like, three people did. Sorry. At the end of the day, knobs were the highest win rate race at Euro Bowl. Fact. They were, but only three people played them, right? Fact, Jimmy. Fact. <laughs> Fact. Or four people. Well, what was the record? Oh, I can't remember that. Oh, really good one. Like 70% like win rate or something. Hmm. Was it six games? So it was like... It's probably like twenty four, wasn't it? It was probably it was probably four people played them. Oh, here we go. Um <laughs> hmm. This is the actions of somebody who has who's failed to qualify, isn't it? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Just like oh fuck it. I know, I know how she felt versus Andy. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was unexcited. I mean, I, you know, everyone said on my YouTube video I was whining too much, and it's like, just can't help it some days, can you? Like, it's just fucking bollocks. Can't be, you can't be happy Rick every day, can you? I mean, Rick can be, but no other person in the world can be, I don't think. 
That's a terrible example, Jimmy. <laughs> he literally picked the one person. Yeah, no, no, Rick can, but n normal people can't, can they? Only Rick can be like that. That was that was the point. Only Rick can be like that. Only Rick. I guess this isn't too bad, right? Do need like a pound stuff? Ah, uh, not really. No, it's still pretty bad because you got the wolf all the way. So the wolf could even just go for the surf. Would be the absolute fun having way of doing it. You can probably double surf here, right? Devo might run out of time working out the double surf. <laughs> That's the best chance Tree's got. <laughs> is uh, is Devo runs out of time figuring out the double surf? Because it seems like it, it has to be possible, but I wouldn't want to spend all the time thinking about it. I think your best bet is blocking with the fleshy first, right? Just to see, because then you've got like multiple chances to get rid of this dodger. And then go with a wolf hit if you have to. I think that's the way. Yeah, I think so. Um, I mean, the other way is to blitz the stripper and chain the wolf onto the catcher. And then surf it with the wolf. Yeah. Like, I think that's probably what I'd go for. Wow. Do that block first. Yeah, then I mean you you've got to do that block and then if everything goes wrong, then, yeah, then that the that backup. wolf can can go there. But like you basically need to power it, I think. Is the thing. Problem with the the surfing, the blitzing here is how do you like, how do you do Oh this one can do it, yeah, this wolf can do it, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, that wolf doing it's pretty good, isn't it? So this, this... But then the problem is you're not putting a player in there, right? Oh, well then the, the zombie comes over. Yeah, the zombie comes over. Okay, so that's the play then, yeah. Fleshy in there. Blitz him. To there. And then zombie comes there. And then you surf it. And then you've got a ghoul left. I don't really think surfing the ball is that good, but we're just doing it this way. Your way was better, I think. I and mean, this way you get the double surf, don't you, if you want it. And you get to knock over the stripper maybe and stuff. So like there are, well then you would have got to maybe knock over the stripper your way as well, wouldn't you? So there you go. I think the dimmy way was the best, yeah. Yeah, pretty good. Overall. Overall, I think the Dimmy Way was the best. If you're going to go for the surf. Which you don't necessarily want to, right? Because, you know, you can't pick it up and stuff. Maybe, depending on where it goes. Which was the worst place it could have gone, just quietly. Uh, Wolf could dodge could uh, dodge and go all the way back or it could go for a surf of its own or it could uh, just hit the stripper wow doing both GFIs interesting rushes sorry rushes doesn't take the surf what what did he misclick oh my god zombie dodge Outrageous. Yeah, it's got to tag the ghoul and the wraith, I think. I think the catcher stands up and tags the wraith, then we dodge the wrestler out and tag the ghoul. And then try and tag these two zombies. Tell you what, 
Tree's no, tree was shit, wasn't it? Instantly yeah. ruined. Feel like Thanos. victorious, yeah. and I will defend. I will defend. Oh, hello, Milo Mindem. Thank you very much. Staying fantastic. Absolutely glorious. Nearly three Hulbio pregnancies. And when is Dimmy's um, next game? We don't know because uh, he's in the playoffs. So there you go. Glorious. Can the dancer reach the ghoul? Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You can only touch him. That's why I did the GFIs, maybe. Oh. Well, the dancer is not trying to touch the ghoul. This one can just can hit the ghoul, can't it? There we go, we could three back. Three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, probably gonna have to dodge out and then GFI. Yeah. Not worth keeping the uh, movement spare. Like standing next to the tree with a dancer. I mean, this is pretty bad. Pretty bad throwing for for Dave, or wasn't it? That, oh, that was the problem with like surfing, trying to surf the ball right rather than just trying to. Hit it and not surf it. But I think we'd all surf it. <laughs> to be fair, I think we'd all surf the ball there. One hundred percent. Yeah, maybe should have dodged the wolf out, or just hit the stripper. Right, could have had four dice on the stripper. It was weird to hit that guy and not surf him. That was what I thought was the strangest thing from Dave Orr, was to not take the push, right? Not not surf that dude. Like take that hit to surf him, sure, but if you're not surfing him then hit the hit the dancer or try to dodge, I'd say. Instant full power. I mean, the one thing that probably makes sense is he doesn't care because he's definitely going to qualify. <laughs> that's uh, that's that's maybe the thing that makes the most sense. But still, even then, right? Like you should still make mostly the correct decisions, shouldn't you? So... That was very strange to not sir. It was understandable to punch it, but not understandable to punch it and not surf it. I think now he can fully cage here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like GFI, GFI, but then the the wolf, the zombie's got to go there first. Then he can double GFI. Then this wolf can fill in the the corner there, and then this wolf can block, be blocked, and then that wolf can go there. So yeah, he can full cage here actually. Just needs to move the zombie, zombie to there, and you can full cage. Okay, I don't like this as much. I much prefer my plan. We'll see what Dave O does. Fail the pickup. Wouldn't have done that. So you've got a base cage, but it's yeah, it's it's not it's no GFIs, isn't it? So it's like there's no guard, but there's no GFIs required to do it, and they're both uphills because of the guard. So yeah, this is really good from Dave actually. Leap really nice. Four plus leap, four plus dodge, yep. in on D. Yep. Makes it. Don't pop dodge. Don't pop dodge. Doesn't pop dodge. Oh, well to six. Oh, he's in. Oh, pow. Bosh. 
Dead? Oh, oh, worst possible oh, scam. Oh, oh, oh. That is literally the worst. The Mega. So this catch has got to go, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're up here with Wrestle. Eight handoff. I <laughs> mean, it's just fucked, isn't it? I don't know. Mm. Oh, it's so unlucky. Yeah, that was a really horrendous scatter. Scatterino. There's an argument for 3 4, 3 2. <laughs> and then hand off to the catcher. Oh, the jump. 4 plus jump. Okay, <laughs> that would have been the perfect scatter, wouldn't it? <laughs> I would have got to the catcher. <laughs> I was just about to say, that was the actual worst possible scatter, right? Like, just a wolf catching it, but... Oh my god, that would... Imagine if that had been the scatter. It's literally, you catch it, gets it. So close. So near, yet 13, so far. 14. Yeah, there's, there looks to be no chance of three winning now. Saul in tatters. In tatters. What Saul should have done was not lose to me. <laughs> what an what an idiot. <laughs> what an absolute idiot losing to somebody as bad as me. <laughs> oh dear. If Saul had beaten me then uh, it would have been like a three-way tie, or maybe just both of you, right? Because Andy might still draw this. And if it's a three-way tie, um, he would have beaten Andy but lost to you. And then you would have beaten him but lost to Andy. So it would have been a three-way tie and it would have been touchdown difference. Super interesting. I was interested, I promise. Yeah. The surf and the dancer is, is on, but probably not getting taken. Uh, maybe not. No, I, I think you just prioritise like a, a solid cage here. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe. Who am I trying to kid? Of course he's going to. One, two, three, four. <laughs> GFI. Yeah, he does the blockless block first before even doing anything with the ball. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, surfing the dancer is better because what's the point in having the ball in a cage if it's going to get stripped anyway? Oh my god, he's running out of time. Oh my god. What is Devo doing? He uses his last reroll. Oh, Oh, he's going to run out of time. Look, he's got 10 seconds. I think he's just about not going to run out of time. He shouldn't have moved him first. Should have gone for the pickup first. You might not even have the chance to pick it up now. He's doing a block. He doesn't know. He doesn't know about the time. Oh, my God. Imagine if the result mattered. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know about the time. Incredible. Did you not hear, like, the clock ticking? <laughs> yeah, you would have thought, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, is that... She's out of range. Oh... Uh... Yeah, dice. Can we get that? <laughs> so probably have to like stand this catcher up and then like one D blitz versus foul appearance and sidestepped <laughs> to have that in the end zone and then be passed like is stupid, but what else are you gonna do? Like, you otherwise you just Committing to a draw. Like a win doesn't help you either, right? So it's hard to uh, care too much about anything if you tree here. Would have got the power versus the uh, foul appearance, by the way. Oh, I did do the blitz, you know. Still had to, but that could have been. That could have been the way to score, right? Oh, failed. <laughs> it was not the way to score. That stun was a killer, wasn't it? If, it, if this catcher wasn't stunned. Could have been 1 1 with a chance of a win. 
Yeah. No, I mean, not even that many off. It's just the tree was useless, wasn't he? The tree was the absolute worst player on the pitch, bar none. Uh, or alternatively, the tree was Davos' best player. <laughs> no re-rolls for Davos, so it could still be a draw for tree. Obviously, we're going to 3D, 3D, 3D. Here... Oh. Oh. Doesn't know who you're gonna pick it up on afterwards. No? Yeah, we still got a 3D and a 3D, haven't you? You gotta make sure. You can pick up on like a zombie in it, zombie ball carrier. Zombie ball carrier. Let's go. <laughs> That's what I do. Let's go. <laughs> I learned from the best. <laughs> Let's go. Devil's gonna surf it, isn't he? Yeah, you should definitely just hit with a wolf here. Oh, he's not surfing! What? Brilliant. He's just gonna pick up on the wolf, isn't he? Yeah, but I think just a big mess of tackle zones was good enough. And then uh, just do a 3D with blocks. He didn't fail, right? And then get the other two tackle zones on the other board. Because oh, that pickup fail. Been, yeah, that pickup fail could have been a disaster. So I've had a big old web to make it really hard to scatter it. And it's you know. got tree's got a, a three plus leap uh, jump. Well, sorry, three plus jump over, three plus dodge, one D with wrestle on the ball. Yeah. Horrendous direction though is the problem, isn't it? I mean, it's, yeah. Uh, wrestle wouldn't have done any good. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, what a shame. So close. Yeah. Good game, wasn't it? Good game. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Tragically, though, for the champ, that means that Devo tops the group. Dimbo. Now they're all going to be fighting over coming second, so they get to play Devo instead of me. <laughs> exactly, scared of the champ. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you're going to see some right strange results in that group next week. <laughs> they're all scared of the champ. We all know it. It is funny that I've said since season one there's no shame in coming last. <laughs> and I meant it. But now that but now that I've finished last, <laughs> I do feel shame. <laughs> you know? Like basically if I was asked to my if I was to ask my shame, I'd say, Where are you, shame? And my shame would say I am here. Oh my god, how again? <laughs> Glorious uh, meat cube. There you go. So, um, yep, congratulations, Devo, commiserations, tree. Uh, we can see the group A table here, and the Devo with four wins and a loss, Dimmy G with four wins and a loss, um, because Andy beat Dimmy, Andy wins the group on head to head. Um, but also we've got a different system for qualifying for the playoffs this season. We're gonna go the first place and the sixth place qualify for playoffs. So sorry, Dimmy. Um, yeah, sounds good to me, mate. Yeah. Sorry about that. But, uh, luckily, I was last, so, you know, as, as fate would have it. <laughs> um, yeah, unbelievable. I can't believe I finished last. But, yeah, congratulations, obviously, Andy, for topping it uh, uh, once again. Uh, Davos made 
five out of six playoffs, whereas now I've only made four out of six playoffs and uh, and have finished bottom. So there you go. Obviously, Dimmy now went from what what zero wins last time to four wins this time and playoffs. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah. Congrats, Dimmy. Thank you, Dimmy. And, uh, Thank you, everyone in chat. Yeah. And I would like to dedicate my wins to my zombie ball carrier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the absolute best strap <laughs> in Blood Bowl. And then they'll be playing. Seabros, um, the defending champ, has definitely made the playoffs. 100% Seabros is in the playoffs. Good chance of being Olivier um, with Rat, right? If he wins, he, he tops the group. Uh, and then it could also be Strider and Bright as well, depending on how the results go. It could be, it could be Strider and Bright. Super interesting. Uh, Strider or Bright, but it's definitely Seabrolls. It's a million percent Seabrolls plus one other. Seabrolls is definitely 100% confirmed. Um, so there you go. Super interesting, eh? Very interesting. Uh, it's been a good season. Yeah. <laughs> Not for me and Art, it hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a great season. <laughs> oh dear. Hiru, Hiru beat me and then just got shit on for the rest of the season. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was. He said, like he said, were you so mad about the dice versus me that you were. Uh... That you, that you fix my dice for the rest of the season. I thought to myself, if only I could have done. But um, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't a great season for everyone. But uh, you know, I'm glad. I'm glad it was for some people. Um, yeah. Right. Um, that's it then. Thanks, Dimmy. Glorious having you booth. The champ. The actual champ now. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> if only you won the group. It, you can still win. You can still win Super League though. I won OCC 5A, Jimmy. I'm, I am the champ. I mean, you did. You did, Jimmy, but... I won CST. Yeah. I won the Goblin Cave League. I won Rebel Division 4A. Do you think Re is Rebel Division 4A Jimmy. as good as winning Super League? Uh, I think, it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're two games away. Two games away from being the actual champ. That's two pretty Dyson's cool. away. Two comedy mega Dyson's away, and my name could be Yellow. Wow. <laughs> there you go. Oh. There you go. And uh, thanks for oh, watching, everyone. Don't oh, forget okay. to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.